At the Kansas City Film Festival over the weekend, there was one particular feature film that really stole the show. KCTV5's Carolyn Long is here to explain how a Kansas City native is really helping put KC on the map in Hollywood. A star-studded weekend on the plaza. On the left, Hope Lauren from Supergirl. On the right, Emma Bell of The Walking Dead. And at the center of it all, hometown writer, director, and producer, Morgan Dameron. I never imagined this amount of turnout. Morgan graduated from Pembroke Hill, went on to USC Film School, then became the executive assistant to J.J. Abrams during the filming of the most recent Star Wars movie. In fact, the character, Poe Dameron, was even named after her. Nothing will stand in our way. And nothing will stand in Morgan's way. She's now traveling to film festivals throughout the country to screen her own feature film, Different Flowers. It is a road trip dramedy about two sisters. So on the morning of one of the sisters' wedding, she gets cold feet and she runs out with her younger sister to their grandmother's farm and they start picking up the pieces of their life together. Fun thing, as you watch, the scenery will likely look familiar. It was all shot here in the Metro last summer in 18 days. It is a Kansas City movie through and through. The wedding scene was shot here with local extras in the Country Club Christian Church on Ward Parkway. It's just a special of him coming in. McGonagall's Meat Market on Ward Parkway to Leeds Diner in the West Bottoms to the Kansas City skyline. So on a relatively small budget that Morgan raised through a Kickstarter campaign, we wondered how she got Emmy-winning actress Shelley Long of Cheers fame and all these others to sign on to this girl power movie. We don't get that a lot in Hollywood. Um, we, don't, we don't get stories told from that perspective where a lead character can be a woman and she can choose a career over a man. Like that's just not something that we talk a lot about a lot. It was such an amazing script and it was a really beautiful exploration of the like sister relationship. So now you really want to see it, right? It looks good. <laughs> and if you missed the three sold out screenings over the weekend here in Kansas City, our next closest chance to see this will be at the film festival coming to Lawrence this summer. And then ultimately, of course, Morgan's hope is that the big theater change then pick it up for a wide release. So who knows? Well, I love that the Film Fest is selling out its screenings. Isn't that something? I mean, that just shows that, that, that we love local film. And, That's right. And, and good luck to her. I hope, I hope this hits it big. I know. People sure are yeah, loving it. It looks good.